we're going to do a couple of gnomes that are I'm calling the gardening gnomes and there's over here if you can see them I'm going to do one additional one of them uh, to add to it that's going to be a different color and I've embellished it with uh, background pieces and uh, rakes and I'm going to show you how to do as much as I can and also at the end of the video I am going to show how to make a real easy gnome. I had a request that uh, someone needed to know how to make a real easy gnome. So I put together a real easy gnome that we're gonna show at the end of the video. Okay, so let's get crafting. The first thing I wanna do is go ahead and fill my sock with the, the marbles in the bottom and then the cotton at the top. We're not gonna put shoes on this gnome. So I wanna go ahead and put the marbles in the bottom and the cotton on the top. So hang in with me and we'll get that done. Now I've got my sock full all the way up to the heel area and I'm going to go ahead, I've got marbles in the bottom, I'm going to have, go ahead and clip it off, save the top part for some sleeves for another gnome. And what I need to do next is to make uh, the nose and the hands and I know um, a lot of you have already seen me do that lots of times so I'm just going to make one nose right now and then I'll make the the hands and I won't won't have to film the whole thing so let's go ahead and get the nose made to get the nose made I, I just you need a five by five piece of felt I chose to use white you could use any color you want to for your nose and your hands on this one we're going to use white and you want to put a little bit a little bit of fiber fill in the nose right in the middle of the felt and then push it up, make a nice round little nose. And then you want to take your rubber band and wrap it up. And then you just trim that extra off. And this is how you make the, the hands as well. So we've got the nose made. We're going to attach the nose. I usually look for the seam on the front of the sock and I'll start there as my center of the project and put the nose right there in the middle. Okay, I'll be right back with you. So I went ahead and I made the hands for when we need those in a few minutes. And I made the nose and you saw that I've got that glued on there and it's all set up. And the next thing I want to do is put the beard on. And the first thing I do when I when I cut the beard out, I use an X-Acto knife and cut it out of the fur. And then I cut a little slit in the top for where it's going to go around the nose and start making the, the mustache shape. But I also, on the corners of the bottom of the beard, on the corners of the bottom, I turn those in I glue them in so to round out the beard a little bit. So I just put a little bit of glue on the corner of the bottom there and and just turn that in there on both sides. So it rounds out the beard a little, little bit more so it doesn't it's not so square. Now, if I don't forget, I'll be using some hairspray on the beard in a little while to set it up, set the shape into it, and it works really well to keep the shape into it nice. Okay, so I'm going to get ready to glue this on. It's going to go right under the nose like this and be right on there.
And there we are. The next thing I'm going to do is put some sleeves on. So I've got four five by six and a half pieces here. Five by six and a half inch pieces here to make the two sleeves. The sleeves are going to be a different, a little bit different because I want them to look like they're flowers coming off the sides. Like the hat looks like it's a big flower. You see on here how I've got it all cut like it's a flower coming down. And the hat's the same way. It's got the flower stem on the end on the, the hat. So that's how we're going to do the sleeves. So you'll need the four, five by six and a half inch pieces for that. What I want to do is go ahead and cut the sleeves like we normally do for the bell, bell shaped sleeves. You just want to cut a little piece out of each side, but you want to leave a little bit of opening at the, t at the top. Don't make it too much of a point up there. But like that, you can see how that is. I probably got about a half inch opening up there at the top. So that's how they will look before you do the scalloping on the bottom to make them look like flowers. You just want to start right at the corner and just make a shape into them. They look like a flower. real easy to do. Don't get too stressed about it because if you mess up, you can just make another sleeve. But that's how it's going to turn out. Just like that. And then we're going to glue them. So I'm going to do the other one. You want to kind of start out with like a long one right there at the end. And there's the second one. So now all I need to do is glue them together, turn them back, back the right side out, and I'm going to do that right now and I'm put, put you on the, the fast camera so I can get that done. Be right back with you. Got one sleeve all glued and turned the right side out. This is how we want it to look. I'm going to do the, the second one real quick, hopefully. A little bit narrow at the top. So sometimes you have to use something to, to get it to come out. In my case, I use a paintbrush since I have a thousand of them. Painting is my first love. Okay. So I've got both of those turned out. We'll put a little bit of stuffing in them. Very little bit of stuffing. Yeah. 
So I've got both the sleeves um, stuffed just very lightly. This is what they're going to look like. And I'm going to put them aside for the moment because I want to go ahead and do something um, I don't normally do, and that's put the apron on him. Um, I put gardener aprons on both the man and the woman gnome. And the piece of felt that I'm starting with to put the around him um, is 14 by 6. That's what I have here in front of me. Let's see how that works because I couldn't really measure him. He wasn't he wasn't stuffed yet. So I'm going by what I used on the other one. You want to um, put it down right to hit the table level. Trying not to show the gray sock underneath. When we're all done, you don't see the gray sock at all. So you get that around the bottom of him. Like that, if you can see. That, that's just the part of his apron. Goes around the bottom of them. And then you glue that in the back. Later, I'll put the back straps on and the pockets on the front. We'll finish shaping up later. Just want to get that big piece on there. Okay, so now we can put the arms on. You want to put the seams going out like that. I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get this arm on and the other arm on, and I'll be right back with you. So, is what we're gonna do next. I've got both the sleeves glued on, and the next thing I want to do is make the hat. And the hat is like an upside down flower, so it's a little bit different than what we normally do. And so, I'm gonna go ahead. I've got my two seven by nine inch pieces, which is what we usually use. And I'm going to cut it just like a Christmas tree like we normally do for the hat. Leave a little bit of opening at the top. Like that, got that all cut. And then we wanna do the same thing to the bottom like we did to the sleeves to make it into a flower. Just start about like that. I'm doing it a little bit deeper on the hat. It 
looks like that. What I'm going to do now is glue them together. I'll be right back with you. Okay, so I have the hat that looks like a flower. All done. It turns back on the right sides coming out. And we need to add the, the calyx. I believe that's what it's called. The green piece right there that holds the stem. And we're going to add a piece on both sides and glue that down. We're going to put a leaf right here on the front and we're going to add the little loose stem flowing down like that. So that's what we're going to do next. Embellish the hat. So I've got the front of the hat, the seams to the side. And take these two little pieces, which are hard to measure. You kind of got to just eyeball it. They're kind of shaped like that. And And that's kind of how the first piece goes on. Just imagine that you're making a flower. That should turn out pretty good. I'm on the other side now. What we want to do is take and put the, the loose, loose stem. You see how I have it? On here, where it just flops in the front. And so in order to put that in there, I took there's a little slant on the one end that when I cut it out, I left a little slant on the one end of the stem. The other end is straight. So take the straight end and I just poke that in the hole that we left at the top a little bit. And then I put a little bit of glue and hold that together. You can see the flowers forming nicely. Let's put a little bit more glue here. Then we'll put the, the hat on, but I have a leaf coming down here. So I'm going to put that on now. Just cut it out. Pretty easy to do. Like it's between the two seams. And then the hat is done. Except for the little bit of Tester's Craft Paint I do in the uh, Emerald City. I do a little bit of glitter on the leaf. If you can see that. We'll do that. But right now I'm going to put a little stuffing in the hat so we can put it on.
of what we want to do is we want to put the seams to the side and glue that right to the top of his, his nose. And I'm going to glue it to the top of the sleeves, the top of the nose, and then right at the top of the back. So I'll get started on that and I'll put the camera on going fast and you can see what I'm doing here. So I've got the, the, the hat on. It's still setting up just a little bit more, but it's, it's pretty much ready for us to start something else here. I want to um, put some straps on the back of his apron and his pockets on his apron. So I cut out a couple of straps, which I think I'm going to need about half of each one. We're going to put the straps on the back of his apron. We're just going to need one strap. I cut them so long and we're just going to glue those on there real quick. It's the little details that make the difference. Well, the straps are on the back and we're going to turn it around and we want, we're going to put the two pockets on the front low enough because of the beard that you can see them about like that on the, on the front of the apron. So I'm going to go ahead and get those glued on. These are more rectangular po pockets than they are square. And I'm leaving the top of the pocket open. I, did, I don't just um, glue all four sides. I just do the three sides, leave the top of the pocket open. And then you can just stick your finger in there and it looks like it's a little bit more of a detail. It looks like he's using his pocket a little bit of just a little detail. Now I'm going to take the time to spray some hairspray. It'll hold his mustache really well. It doesn't take a whole lot. I put a flower, the arms could stand to come down a little bit. I'm gonna lay him down. Put a little glue on the inside of his arm and bring that arm down a little bit. The next thing I'm going to do is put his hands on. They've been kind of waiting, huh? Just right inside the seam right here. Just glue it right inside that seam. That's why I have the seams coming out to the front is so that we can put the hands right in them. 
like that. Then what we want to do is uh, we want to embellish them with a flower that's a flower that's like I have in the backdrop and you'll see in a minute when I show you that. Um, I want to put a flower like he's carrying it right about there. This flower right there which will go with this backdrop drop that I sh will show you and then I made this rake for him um, like I did the other two out of clothesline pins I just took some clothesline pins and took them apart and used that wood up, up from that uh, to make the little rakes for him so I need to glue that on right about here, making sure it's not touching all the way down. You just want it to be up in the air a little bit. Now I'm going to have to let that set up, so I'll be right back with you. Now, I've got that set up pretty good on that side. I still have to put the little glitter uh, burst paint on the leaf. That's made by Tester's Craft Paint, which is a Rust-Oleum product that I like to use, Rust-Oleum. And I just want to put a little bit of the, the glitter burst on the leaf. And how much it just depends on how much you like or none at all if you don't like. I'm going to take my blush brush. I just use a little bit of makeup blush on the nose to highlight it a little bit, make it a little pink and rosy. I am going to do that too. You got to be real careful if you do this after you already have the nose and the beard put together because real easily will get onto your beard. You want to put your hand I just keep this special for doing the gnomes. And then I put a little bit of the clear glitter burst. It's called um, Stardust on the nose. I put it on the nose after I do the blush. really makes it pretty. I get this glitter burst paint uh, at Menards, but you could order you could order it at Menards. Um, and I think you can order it at Amazon too. I think I've seen it on there. It looks like this it comes in. I guess there's six of them in there. Has all the different colors in there. I really like this set. I use it on a lot of things. 
So, where are we at? We got everything done on here. I think I'd like a little bit more of the green. I'll probably be working with this long after we're done here. But that's how he turns out. I wanted to show you how I did the backdrop here. Let's get rid of this paint. These are the two that I had done previously. Now we have three. And then I did a little giant flower seeds box as part of the embellishments. This piece um, out of a piece of wood at the bottom and some popsicle sticks and some 22 gauge uh, craft wire and felt cleaners. That's what it looks like in the back. You can see that. And I wanted the flowers to hang over the top of them and I wanted this to look like a little fence here. So that's why I made this little piece here to go this will all be in my foyer upstairs for spring. And um, that's how it'll look. Hope you can see that good. Now I'm going to take a minute to move these aside and I'm going to show you how to make that real easy little gnome that a subscriber asked me to make. And I'll be right back with you. Okay, here are three little really easy gnomes to make. These are not even glued together. I'm gonna to take one apart right, right in front of you, show you how they're made, and then we'll put it, put it permanently together. So you can either use a pom-pom for the nose, or you can use a little wooden nose, which you can get 80 wooden noses at Amazon for a little over $10. So I'm just gonna take him right apart I have a little beard on them, little beard piece. Actually, I think I got those out of my scraps. Very tiny little beard piece. And you open that up right up. You got a, a sock tied in there. Now I'll show you how fast it goes back together. I untied the sock. This is a men's gray sock. I got it at I believe I get these at Myers. Pretty big men's. It's just a regular size, but they seem to be pretty tall. These two are the black and the white ones. They're just regular size men's socks. Now I've got marbles in the bottom. You can get these at Amazon. They're like five pounds for $15 at Amazon, um, so you can order them. So what you wanna do is, you got your two socks, you've got a pom-pom, a wooden nose, and a beard, and I put a little bit of embellishment with the twine on there as well. So here's what you wanna do is, get your marbles in your sock, and then you just want to roll that all the way up. I hope you can see what I'm doing. You get about that far and then you just do like, it's kind of like you're doing the laundry. You get your piece like that going. And you take that whole piece with the marbles inside and you put it down into the second sock. I always watch to make sure that seam goes across the front, the seam of the sock. And you take and you put a knot in it. Nice big knot. And then you want to take the sock down about halfway like that. About halfway down like that. 
and then you pull it down right onto the knot. You get it down like that all the way around and you pull up the edge for your rim for you, to allow you to put the face in there. And then you want to take and put your beard on. Now I haven't glued any of them. I've work, been working with them to figure out the best way to do it. But you could use tacky white glue or you could use hot glue and glue that right in there. And then you want to put, here's, I just use a wooden nose. That seems to be the easiest rather than have to make a nose like I do with the other ones. Put a little wooden nose on there. You can glue that on right in place. Looks like you might need to. Put your little wooden nose on there. And then, whoops, we'll just glue this one on there. We'll glue that right in place. I would go ahead and put a little bit of glue on the back to hold that down. You got the marbles inside there. Fluff your beard out like that. And tie your twine around there and make a little bow. And then you want to put a pom-pom on the top, any colors you want on this. And there you have a very easy little gnome to make. And you can make it in any color socks. This is just a regular, see these aren't even glued together. <laughs> see these aren't even glued together. These are just me seeing what I could put together. These are just regular, regular men's black socks. Um, and you can use a pom-pom for the nose if you want to. You don't have to use the wood. See, it's real cute with the pom-pom for the nose as well. And then you would use a bigger pom-pom for the top if you did that, if you chose to do that. And I even have it here in white, different color, a little piece of fur for the beard. This is just a men's white sock. So it takes two white socks to, to make one. Two black socks, two gray socks. I guess it really wouldn't matter what color the sock on the inside was. So there goes the nose on that one. So that's what I came up with on the a real easy gnome to make. I hope that helps. I hope that helps, Jack. So you have a good day. I hope this all was good information for you. And we'll see you next time. Don't forget to like. We'll see you next time.